worldwide. We'll just let the uh, stream catch up, let a few more of you come over and join us here on this fine evening. I was going to say, yeah, just th Thursday evening, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is Thursday. Thursday evening. Yeah. Like, I know you said Friday though, that wouldn't have been a good start, would it? Yeah, uh, happy Thursday evening, everyone. Of course, get your comments coming in. Where are you watching from tonight? Yeah, let us know. Uh, yeah, we'd love to know. But uh, yeah, welcome. Welcome to Theme Park Worldwide. And uh, yeah, nice live stream. We've not done one, a live stream, since September, Charlotte. I can't believe it's been that long. Yeah, it's crazy. So we're all set up down here um, in the living room and we're ready just to have a bit of a general chit chat. You know, we're going to answer some questions. Uh, we're going to do some shout outs. And also as well, uh, most importantly, we're going to be talking about some upcoming trip plans yeah, aren't we yeah, oh, can't wait yeah we got uh, lots going on lots to be excited for but firstly oh, let us so know many. yeah let us know where you're watching from tonight uh, and we'll give you some shout let's start with some shout out shall we? we've got Kyle who's watching tonight in Bishop Auckland hello uh, I quest it live from Kent hello. out there to you thanks for watching Archie's watching tonight out there to you we've got Rosie oh my god hello there she says so many <laughs> <laughs> nearly a thousand of you watching already tonight uh, we've got Claire who's watching from Coventry tonight Ben from Stoke not too far away from us <laughs> there Ben Nathan's watching tonight Claire in Nottingham happy birthday Victoria oh have an absolutely wonderful birthday Katie's watching us tonight Anna who's watching us in Ipswich hi out there to Ipswich tonight Blimey it's nearly 1300 of you joining us already in Nottingham tonight joining us Oh, Hartford, I always like to see where people are watching from. Yeah. I did see, just before we started the stream, uh, someone was watching from Texas tonight yeah, as well. which is really cool. Yeah, I like that, a bit of Texas, fantastic. Uh, don't get Owen and Sam in Chorley joining <laughs> us tonight. Hi out there to you. Amanda from London. Um, we've got Neo from Cheadle, not too Hello. far away from us here at HQ. Let's get these shout-outs going. Hello, everyone. Philadelphia, that's a good one. Philadelphia, oh, fantastic. That's a good one. Um, we've got from Manchester just there as well. Michael and Kaylee from Cornwall. Oh, so many people. Andy from Lincoln. Oh, so many people at RM who's watching in Sheffield. Chester, love watching from Spain. Oh, Hi out there to you. Hola, hola. <laughs> uh, hello from Blackpool. That's what I like to say, Blackpool. <laughs> but uh, there we go. Blimey, there's a lot of you watching tonight. 1,600 join us live. So welcome to Theme Park Worldwide. We're going to do some shout outs. We're going to answer some questions. Uh, it's going to be really laid back, casual. We haven't got like a massive plan. We're just going to have a bit of chat, a bit nice of interaction. Chat. And uh, also, we've got some uh, trip plans to talk about, haven't we? Oh, we are so excited to share these with you guys. Yeah, we've got lots. Lots coming up this year, lots coming up. Um, theme Park Ride, thank you so much for your super thank chat tonight. You. Hi, Sean and Charlotte, love the videos. Thank you really so much it. for watching, we really do appreciate that. Family Vibes who are watching tonight, how out there to you? Hello. Um, along with that, you've got a predicament. Oh, here we go. Okay. So let's see. Disneyland Paris for four days for your first time or four parks in four days in Europe for your first time. From That's from Ash, Rach, Albie and Lacey uh, and also a 13 and five year old. Well, firstly, hi Hello, out there. Everyone. Thanks so much for your uh, super chat. Uh, a predicament. I mean, what do you think with that one? I think it's one of them. I think if you've never been to Disneyland Paris before, it's definitely worth doing. But if you've also got four days to do parks in Europe, it's a tough one because some of the parks in Europe, you do need two days. Yeah, you do, yeah. So you do. So I'd probably say Disneyland Paris. Yeah, I mean, DRP, if you've never done it before, nothing more magical Definitely. than a Disney uh, a Disney park, is there? Um, we've got Joe Lucius watching tonight. I think that sounds like it. Met theme park worldwide down Monk's Walk. They were just topping off Hyperia. Aww. Nicest people I've ever met. Oh, thank you so much. If you ever see us out there at theme parks, come and or, say hello. Yeah, down public footpaths <laughs> watching and coasters getting topped off, come and say hi. You know, like that. It's always great meeting people that enjoy watching. We've met a lot of fans we over have. the past couple of weeks, especially with all the excitement of Hyperia down Thorpe Park and also with Nemesis Reborn. We met so many people, didn't we, across that opening weekend? Oh. Oh, it was just so nice to meet you all and see all your opinions about Nemesis. And like when we were down Monk's Walk watching Hyperia get topped off, it was amazing. Like the atmosphere down there was just electric. It was incredible, wasn't it? But uh, thanks for that. Thank you. Uh, Charles in 1998 experienced the back row of Nemesis for the first time yesterday. Oh, and I love it when it whips you down the latter half of the vertical loop. Yes, that's what the back row is about. You get that force. As much as on an invert, it's great on the front how you get the view. When you're on the back, like you just whipped over the elements, like incredible. Nice, uh, nice water there, Charlotte, for Not you the tonight. Nestle Pure Life today. Oh, have you? I've got a nice big orange juice just down here. Look at that. Is it a pint? No, it's more than a pint, that, isn't it? Like, I think. Yeah, I don't know. No, I think it is a is pint. Is it a pint? I don't I know. Think so. <laughs> yeah, no, I got to, we went to IKEA the other day, got some. Uh, Got some new glasses, but uh, thanks so much. Nigel Craft, who's watching tonight, here's a treat from me as a thank you for your amazing oh, work you. and the support you give me when I post my singing clips. So Nigel's always singing different songs 
And uh, yeah, you can find him over on X, Twitter, whatever you want to call it these days. And uh, yeah, he does all these different songs. He does songs. a great job. Yeah, he does. So that's uh, that's really nice. For anyone that's just joining us tonight, a big hello. hello. We're going to be talking about some upcoming travel plans shortly. Um, we've got some big trips coming up over the next couple of months. So stay tuned for that. And we're just doing some shout outs, general <laughs> questions. Uh, anything kind of goes, really. Um, inversion and immersion. I think I said that right. Love the content this year. Well done, Charlotte, for the solo vlogs on the cruise. You've really grown in confidence. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. It was really weird, like, vlogging without Sean being there, but I didn't want you guys to miss out on the content either, so I was like, I'm just going to go and enjoy myself. Oh, Charlotte did a thank really you. good job. And, of course, if you haven't already, head over to the Sandbrook Adventures, our second channel, and join us for the cruise series um, on the, the Disney ship. We had an absolutely amazing time, Disney Dream, and, yeah, we really enjoyed it. Nearly 2,000 of you watching tonight. Oh, Hello, everyone. That. Welcome to Theme Park Hello. Worldwide. Uh, if you, of course, if you want to see more live streams, we don't do them very often. We should do more but uh, make sure you hit the thumbs up mm. and uh, yeah show that you'd like to see more of these streams you know drop a like on the video um, Rosie Graham is watching tonight and enjoying the content so far this year thank you thanks so much Rosie really appreciate your support thank you so much theme park screamers waves from HQ Woo! hey hello out there to you always great to see you at the home parks keep on riding we will do and we've got Excellent. so much coming up <laughs> as we'll be talking about in this video. Rise Adventures, hi, Sean and Charlotte. It's my 29th birthday today. I'm oh, watching happy from Manchester. Happy birthday to you. There you go. Have an absolutely amazing day. Manchester, not too far away from not us either. Not far at all. There we go. Um, along with that, we've got GrimDev200. Hello, can't wait to see your trip plans. I'd love to visit some parks in Europe and the UK, um, but Canada may be a bit far away. Oh, you're from Canada. Hi, there to you. Oh, I loved Canada when I went there back in 2019. I'd love to come back. And hopefully you'll get to uh, travel over and, and do some parks at really some nice. point. Yeah, 100% love Canada. And you've never been, actually, No, I'd you? love to go to Canada yeah, it'd be at nice. some point. Definitely. Tommy Duncan, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love your favourite ride operator at Flyover Iceland. Yeah, this is a funny story. So when I went over to Iceland a couple of years ago, two years ago, I think that was now. And uh, when I was there, um, literally went to the only ride that there is in the whole of Iceland, which is a flying theatre, and thought, oh, you know, just going to you know, go and do this flying theatre. And didn't expect to get wrecked recognised by the people there having a lovely chat it was really nice so yeah big uh, big shout out to you fly over Iceland no oh, fantastic yeah good attraction that uh, hi guys love the channel if you had to remove one coaster from Alton Towers what would it be and what would you replace it with and that's from the Boz Boz what do you think I would remove Galactica and I'd put like a really good like Intamin Blitz in that yeah. area. Intamin Blitz or LSM launch Definitely poster. Definitely something like that. However you want to say it. Yeah, that'd be uh, that'd be really good. Yeah, I'd love that. Um, no, I think that'd be great. I'd agree. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I, I think I'd take out Rita as well. You know, I'd get rid of Galactica and Rita. Galactica gone first. Yeah, no, definitely. But uh, there you go. Thank you so much for your support. It's Luke O'Neill. Hello, guys. Thoughts on Nemesis Reborn? Has the ride experience improved since opening day? Hope to see you both at Legoland on Saturday. Well, you will see us at Legoland. Minifigure Speedway opening. Looking forward to that? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing it actually testing because we haven't seen it yet. No, we haven't seen it in person. We've seen a couple of videos and stuff mm -hmm. these past couple of days, but uh, very excited. Can't wow, wait. over 2,000 of you joining us tonight. How Hello everyone, welcome to Theme Park Worldwide. Uh, and thoughts on Nemesis Reborn, Luke? Um, it's riding fantastic. It I mean, it's still got the rattle, but it's so intense. I'd say I'm getting the most intense rides on Nemesis that I've ever had. Like, it's really good, I isn't it? I have to agree. It feels really intense. Yeah, very forceful. Uh, thanks for your support. We've got Watson Henry who's watching tonight. Hi, Sean and Charlotte. Always wondered, what do full-time ride operators do for work during the off-season? So, it's normally a mix. I mean, a lot of the roles at parks here in the UK are seasonal roles, and that's clear when you apply for them. Sometimes they'll get kept on for like Christmas events, um, all sorts of outdoor season events, things like pirate takeover and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, there's there's a lot of opportunities that come up to kind of join in and, and do things like that as well. But uh, there you go. Thanks so much for your support. Um, Charlie Farrow is watching us tonight. Home to visit Alton Towers tomorrow and ride Nemesis oh, Reborn for the first time. Watch it from Stafford, not too far not away far from us at all. here at uh, here at base. But uh, honestly, thanks so much for your support you. and enjoy Nemesis Reborn. I hope you uh, really enjoyed that. Um, Ghost in the house, and I love your videos, and I wish you'd go on the rise. 
but I can't because I've got a disability. Oh, really Aww. sorry to hear that. I just hope that the channel and our videos kind of help bring you along the experience the best we can. Definitely. And also, um, you know, with on-ride POVs, I know they're not allowed everywhere, sadly. Wish oh, they no. were. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, it's always really nice that we can kind of take you along you the, the, the best that we can do as well. Uh, we got Firaz. Ab oh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Firaz. Ab Ab well, I'm not too sure. Oh, I, I always try my best on pronunciation, <laughs> but I am terrible. But uh, Firaz, thanks for watching tonight. Will you go back to Bush Gardens, Tampa to ride the legendary Iron Guazi? And will you do a ranking of your top 25? So with Iron Guazi, we'll be going back at some point. It's Florida. We go quite a lot. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't think we're going back this year to Florida. But um, yeah, because we've already been at the course at the start of the year. I don't think we'll be going again. We've got some different stuff coming up. But uh, in terms of top 25 coasters we will get round to it won't we we will it's just so hard when you've done so many rides it's always trying to put them into a category but it's something that we definitely want to look at doing definitely um Gianni has asked are you going to visit Balwadi and the new Amazonia zone well I would like to at some point at first I thought oh it's just you know a normal rapids and a junior coaster then I saw a video this week uh the rapids the rapids looks crazy it looks like you get soaked and it's got like a weird like drop track element on it it looks terrifying oh no it looks uh, absolutely fantastic it really does and uh, i really want to get on it like a 13 style drop terror terror style it's I'd like be this so scared it looks really good i'd love to uh, give that a go uh thanks so much jacob for watching really Thank do appreciate you. your support it's very kind uh hi sean and charlotte your items are certainly museum worthy especially the bookworm i can't wait to see that in a museum with at least some of the motor movement restored uh, it would also be cool to hire the OG voice actor. That would be so cool. It would. I've actually got some of the original audio um, actually saved from that. And that is the plan. I mean, I'd love to, at least, obviously, I'm not going to be able to get the whole thing moving again because we fired the glass state and all the mechanism was kind of ripped out from Alton Towers before I got it. But... In, in the head itself, I can certainly make the eyes move again and the eyelids, possibly a bit of work in the mouth again. Uh, and that's something to look at, not whilst it's here, um, but in the future, if I do get my dream of having this museum of everything on display, um, that is what I'd like. But uh, thanks so much, Jacob. Thank you. Um, really do appreciate Definitely. your support tonight. Uh, we've got so many shout outs and comments coming in. So many. For anybody joining us, uh, thanks for watching Theme Park Worldwide. And hello. hello. Well, thanks for joining us. We're going to be talking soon about our trip plans and uh, we're going to go through a bits that we've got coming up over the next kind of two, three months here on the channel. Um, Jake Brown's watching. Me and my wife love meeting you both in Epcot last September and riding your favourites. Figment. Hey. I love Figment. <laughs> uh, when's the wedding? Oh, Oh, well, the wedding is coming up. There's not long to go. It's going to be this summer. And uh, yeah, stay tuned because uh, we will have some more information about our wedding coming up. But uh, oh, it's really exciting, oh, isn't it? Oh, I cannot wait. Oh, thanks so much, thank Jake, for your you. support. Uh, Dazzalat, thank you so thank much for you. watching. Really appreciate it. Giraffe Lord, one, two, three. Mm. Do you like giraffes? Mm. Uh, hello, Sean and Charlotte. I'm going to Alton Towers uh, to ride Nemesis for the first time. Excited but nervous. You got any advice for a nervous rider, Charlotte? I think it's one of them. I'd probably suggest like riding like towards the front of the train because it's a lot more intense towards the back. Yeah. So if you can, try and ride a bit further forward for your first ride. Definitely, but enjoy it. Have a good ride. Enjoy. Sonic's watching tonight. Love your videos. Are you getting married? Yes, we are. And that's coming be. up this summer, um, summer 2024. And are you going back to F Telling for Dance Macabre? We definitely will. I saw the latest episode that F Telling put on. Looks amazing. The first we of its kind, wait. new ride from Intamin. Very excited for that. Uh, we've got Luisa who's watching tonight. Hi, Sean and Charlotte. We love watching your channel. We hope to see you on Saturday at Legoland. Love, Luisa, James and Daisy. Hi out there to all of you. Thank <laughs> you for watching us tonight. And uh, yes, you'll see us on Saturday at Legoland. We're looking forward yeah, to really Minifinger Speedway. Yeah, it's been a week, been, been a week delayed, but uh, you know, I'm looking forward to getting on it. It should be fantastic. Uh, Wild Boy 1983. I'm glad you like my Nemesis roller coaster model, which is currently in the Nemesis shop. Uh, it is available for purchase. Anyone that's interested. So yeah, if you have been in the Nemesis shop, you'll see this is amazing model of the it old style so train. Good. It's huge as well. Like when he sent us photos, uh, you know, before it went in the shop, we were like, that "What? Big. It's massive. It's like it this. So good. Uh, great item. And if you're visiting over the next few weeks, then yeah, go and check it out in the Nemesis shop. Uh, but thanks so much for your support. Really do appreciate it. Um, along with that, oh, we've got some the message in. Oh, okay. Um, Dad's like, thanks again. Uh, what would you like to see in the old Pirates Adventure at Drayton Manor? What do you think, Charlotte? I'd like to see it return, but obviously it's not going to be 
in its full state as it was before but i'd love to see that style of ride return exactly as it was as a pirate boat ride yeah as a dark ride definitely maybe some projections that sort of thing as well it'd be really nice to see i miss it oh i do too it was a special ride for us christopher powell thanks for your support uh hi from a brit living in canada silverwood decloses park six hour drive never been to silverwood but i'd like to at some point your next trip cedar point king's island and holiday world plus the mall of america and maybe another park in may oh it sounds really have good have a great time yeah have an absolutely amazing trip hope you really enjoy that christopher uh, along with that we've got greg hollands watching tonight we're coming to drayton manor alton towers next week do you think fast track is worth it love the channel uh, I think for me, we never normally buy fast track at parks we're local to. Mm -hmm. But if you're only visiting once in a while or once a season, I do think fast track is a worthwhile thing for you. Next week at Alton Towers, it is still the kids' holidays for Easter. Um, so it will be busier than it would be. Uh, it's open until six o'clock though. So my top tip is probably get the fast track. But if you didn't want to stretch to it, arrive early, stay till six. And remember, at six o'clock, it's the queue line entrance that closes, not the ride. So if you plan your day, you can get in the queue for like Nemesis Reborn or the Smiler um, at like one minute to six. Get in there and you'll get your ride on it. That's what I would recommend. But to have a great time. Tommy Flood. Hi, Sean and Charlotte. How much of an influence do the reviews have on Alton Towers and Thorpe Park? Because I'd hate for the hard work you put in to not be recognised. Uh, well, thanks so much for Thank your support. You. Um, some of you might be surprised, but the parks definitely watch a lot of the videos, if not all of the videos about the parks. And uh, it's really good because we give a lot of constructive feedback. And that's what the channel really is all about, isn't it? It's about giving that perfect mix to ultimately um, help the parks improve, you know. Yeah, I think it's one of them where the parks like to see what they can improve on from a guest perspective. If we wasn't given the feedback. Stuff that needed working on at the parks wouldn't get fixed. Yeah, 100%. But nice uh, thanks orange. so much. It's lovely, that is. It's <laughs> nice. Um, Tom Wood, thanks so much Thank for your you. support. Uh, right then, let's uh, talk about our first trip, if you like, that's going to be coming up. This is going to be in the next few weeks. We're going to be making our way out to Germany to a park that we love very, very much. We visited loads, but there's something that we're really excited for. We're going to be at the opening day for Voltron Nevera yes! at Europa Park. We are so <laughs> excited for this. I cannot wait to get on Voltron. It's going to be amazing. It is. Now, this is actually our most anticipated ride of the year, isn't it? We're really excited for Voltron. I just cannot wait to see how it rides. Like, we've been so excited for this from the minute it was released, so I just can't wait to finally get on it. A long time. Like, we thought it was going to open in March. I think that was the initial um, plan from Europa Park, but they've had a few delays on the trains and that sort of thing, getting them in. Um, but yes, we're going to be riding Voltron Nevera at Europa Park, and uh, we're really excited for it. Comment down below. Let us know if you're going to be heading out to Europa Park this year for Voltron. Um, and of course, it's got this ridiculous launch. So it's coming out the station and, and going up into this launch, which looks amazing, doesn't it? And that's what I'm so excited to see how that element rides. Oh, it's going to be brilliant. Yeah, we cannot wait for that. Um, hi, Sean and Charlotte. It was lovely seeing you at Chestington on opening day. Do you think Universal London will go ahead? So, well, thanks so much for your support. In terms of London, it, it is Bedford where it's been built. Mm -hmm. So a little bit further out from London. But in terms of the Universal UK project, it's looking very prominent. Missing. Um, from what I've heard from a lot of different sources, it sounds like we're going to have some sort of confirmation, possibly by the end of this year, whether or not it's definitely going ahead, um, which is very exciting, isn't it? That is such an exciting time for the UK to have a universal part like, oh, we kind of wait for it. Yeah, like it's all sounding very promising, especially if we have the likes of Halloween Horror Nights and everything. And really, it's going to create this, this competition for the parks to really up the game. Definitely. And I think parts like Alton Towers and Thorpe Park, you know, they're not going to struggle. If anything, they're going to do well from people coming over internationally to visit. And Universal aren't going to build like 10 coasters, mm -hmm. you know. It's going to be more about the dark rides, the experience, events, shows, parades, that sort of thing. But also, hopefully, a good couple of coasters as well at the park. So it's still early days, but they've bought the land. They've got it locked in. Let's see what happens. It's uh, certainly very exciting. Uh, Jennifer's watching tonight. It's great to see you oh. both live. Excited for you visiting all the Disney parks this year. Which Disney park will you be visiting next? Oh, that's a good question. Well, you know what? We've got a bit of news coming up. So we'll uh, talk about that a little bit later on in tonight's live stream. So bear with us on that one, Jennifer. But we will definitely talk a little bit about that. Uh, along with that, we've got Jip van der Mullen watching tonight. I do apologise for my pronunciation. I'm always saying this, but I do try my best. Um, hello, Sean and Charlotte. What do you think of the two new RMC Raptors planned for Wallaby Holland? It's my home park and construction's just started. And that's from Jip in the Netherlands. Love the Netherlands. 
And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see, you know, these new coasters come to Wallaby Holland. It's a great park. Already got a brilliant RMC with Untamed. Some other great rides with Lost Gravity. Not so much with Condor and um, the SLC. But you know what? It's a really good park. And I'm sure this will be a really um, nice addition. Looking forward to that. You're getting into the water of this, right? I know, I know. Uh, so my orange is getting, it's going down quick tonight. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so many of you joining us tonight. It's amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll talk about, uh, of course, the next trip we're going to be doing shortly after that one in just a few moments' time. But uh, yeah, just in case you missed it, we're heading out to Europa Park for Voltron Nevera's opening day. We've been waiting for this coaster for a good couple of years now, and uh, we're really excited. Our most anticipated new rider this year. We're going to be capturing the atmosphere of the opening day, and it's going to be amazing. And of course, Europa Park allow on-ride filming as well. So we're going to be able to take you on, get some different angles and that sort of thing. Uh, try hoping the front, the back, the middle. We're going to be there for a few days. So we're not just there for the opening. We're there for a good few days to get lots in. Uh, Daniel, love the channel and watching um, all the adventures that we go on. Any big roller coasters you don't like and why? For me, I just don't like rough roller coasters. I like intense. I'm not a fan of rough coasters. Um, things like Hero spring to mind for me. Uh, SLC is not a huge fan of them. Mine's got to be X2 or the free spins. <laughs> I hate those because they are just so intense so yeah. those are the coasters that i just try and avoid not a fan of them <laughs> <laughs> thanks for your support grim dev 200 hello sean i'd love to hear your thoughts on vortex at canada's wonderland one of my favorite rides and my favorite arrow suspended yeah great ride went there back in 2019 really enjoy that type of coaster and uh you know what i'd love to uh, go back actually at some point i feel like doing a, a canada trip at some point and hitting out a few parks in canada that i've wanted to do um, for quite a while, but uh, yeah, definitely love to do that one. Study and Machine, uh, thanks for your support. For Nemesis, I think the Rattle is only on train two. Do you agree? Also, the eye was damaged on April Fool's, but was fixed the next day. Well, firstly, I'm glad that they've uh, got the eye fixed again because, uh, really yeah, shame that it was damaged. Yeah. Hopefully it wasn't damaged by a park visitor. I uh, certainly hope not. But, uh, yeah, at least they got the, the issue fixed. In terms of the rattle, it does seem more prominent on train two, mm -hmm. but I can still feel it on train one as well, especially towards the end of the ride, that final turn That's where um, it mainly into is. the brake run. It, it's like a judder, isn't it, it really? It is, yeah. It's sort of like a, a vibration as you're coming in. Yeah, it is. But, uh, yeah, not a huge fan of that. Uh, hi you guys, what is your top three attractions you're most excited for? And this is from, <laughs> another one from me to try and pronounce, G Gisela? Ooh, I, Gisella, I, I think we're saying. not sure. Top three attractions most excited for, Voltron, Hyperia, yeah. and uh, just generally seeing other updates and, and new things that we're going to be getting mm -hmm. on, on future trips, I'd say, for me. Yeah, I'd definitely say the same. Yeah, really excited for them. Theme Park Screamers, be making more bracelets and we'll be at Legoland Saturday. Uh, and also Hyperia's opening day. Oh, Jenny's been a fan of Theme Park Worldwide since the beginning, you know, for a very long time. And we really appreciate Jenny's continued support. We so do. thank you she so, so some much. Lovely little bracelets and they've got like figment on them and our names are so sweet oh they're so nice um des quadruple five a great seeing you on opening day alton towers in front of the awesome nemesis eye even time for a picture and a chat in the rain mm -hmm. and that's from des claire and ellie hi Hello. out there to the three of you thank you so much for watching us tonight here on theme park worldwide for anyone who's just joined us hello welcome to theme park worldwide and the first stream we've done in like six months like i, I can't know. believe it can we, we always say oh we'll do a stream we'll do a stream but we do a lot of traveling a lot of moving about uh so you know just time flies it doesn't does. it i can't believe it's been that long time flies when you keep on riding it that's does. what i say <laughs> Uh, well, honestly, thanks so much for your support. Really, I do appreciate that. Um, we've got EMS or EMS is watching tonight. Our children just started doing their own theme park reviews. Um, they're the three C juniors. Mm -hmm. I'd love you to mention them as their inspiration and hope to meet us one day. Thanks so much for your support. And of course, everybody starts off somewhere exactly. and it builds up and have a great time. Uh, don't take it too seriously, just, just enjoy it. And, and that's what we do. We don't take things too seriously. We just like to have a good time, visit the theme parks and take you all along. Um, not just the theme parks, but also our adventures on, on the Sandbrook adventures as well. And already this year, we've done so much, haven't we? We have you know? done a lot. Yeah, it's been a really... Really busy start to the year. Um, hello, thanks for your great content from Ollie and Roz. You may recognise our names from Cameo. Hey, mm -hmm. thanks for your support. And uh, more packing videos, Charlotte. I love doing <laughs> packing videos, like showing what to pack for trips. People have said, like, it's so helpful to know what to pack for a trip. 
because sometimes you end up forgetting stuff or not knowing, so I do like doing my little packing videos. Yeah, definitely. And in terms of Cameo, um, well, of course, if you do want a personalised video message, I'm available on Cameo. You can see the link down below in the video description, doing birthdays, shout outs, do a lot of trip reveals, that sort of thing. And it's always really nice because it's like, especially people are like, oh, announcing mm. their trips and stuff. It's lovely, that is. It but is. Uh, thanks Exciting. again so much for your support. Really do appreciate that. Uh, along with that, we've got FLX Coasters watching tonight in New York. Hello to Hello. you. Uh, thank you for doing what you do. My family and I really enjoy your content, and we hope to meet you both one day. Oh, thanks so thank much. You. Well, keep your eyes peeled. You might see us on one of our trips. And, uh, yeah, we already said that we're going to be going to Europa Park for the opening of Voltron Nevera, opening day of this new Max Striker coaster. Just shortly after that, literally the day after, we're going to be making our way out to Poland and we're going to be heading back to Energylandia for our first visit in three years. I can't believe it's been three years since we was last there. Yeah, and of course, finally, Sweet Valley is actually going to be <laughs> opening. Hey, so this is the new family area. And uh, yeah, we're excited to see this. You've got a couple of coasts in there. There's some other bits, some flat rides, some theming. And uh, this was built last time we went, if you remember. Yeah, it was. So it's nice to see <laughs> that it's finally going to be opening. Yeah, really looking forward to that. But... Uh, so, yeah, so we're heading out to Energylandia um, shortly after our trip to Europa Park. So, yeah, they're both coming up um, later this month here on the channel, which is really exciting. A few weeks to go. Around. Big shout out to Beth, who's watching tonight. Love your channel and going to Disneyland Paris in August for the first time. Advice to get the most out of your days. And that's from Beth and Tom in Rude, really, not too far away. Not far at You got all. some advice for Disneyland Paris? I think the best thing is, is to make sure that you get up early and make the most. If you are staying on site when you're at Disney, make the most of the magic hours because it can really help when you are on a trip. Yeah, it really can, can't it? Yeah, it magic can. hours are uh, are really good, you know, and worth making the most of if you are staying there. Uh, tomorrow's watching. Hi, both going to Blackpool for the first time in June. The big one is out of the question. Well, maybe brave and go on Big Dipper. Is it more intense than Big Thunder Mountain? Uh, I wouldn't say intense, but it's more kind of bouncy and, you know, more you feel the, the movement of a wooden coaster, don't you? you know? Yeah, you do, but definitely <laughs> give it a go. Yeah, that's the thing. Give these things a try. Definitely worth it. Uh, oh, thanks so much oh, to a real you. life. Have a few drinks on me on your next adventure. We certainly oh, we will be. It. Yeah, thank, thank you. you so much. Um, so yeah, I've got lots coming up to look forward to with both of them trips, and we're really excited for it. It's going to be amazing. JW Games is going to Butlin soon. Enjoy. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic time. Really enjoyed that. Uh, Anthony's watching us tonight. Uh, Anthony Burson, good content as usual. Best time to go Alton Towers at the moment for a quiet day. Look at the week commencing mm. sixth of May midweek. I would say week commencing. 6th of May would be quite quiet this year wouldn't yeah, it really? Yeah like midweek is the best time to go because it normally is very quiet and you can get on so many rides Really now there's going to be quite a gap between this Easter holiday and it, would it be May half term? I think it's then? like 7 weeks or something until like the next half term so midweek in May would be a really good one. Yeah best time to visit Alton Towers in after next week basically I mean if you go in next week you'll be fine if you arrive early and stay late mm -hmm. but the week after Monday to Friday be should be quieter and you don't really get that many school trips yeah, either to be honest they start coming in later on. late late may early june so a good time to visit anthony is just kind of yeah that them dates that you suggested just there but uh have an absolutely fantastic time uh dan 5800 thoughts on Lightwater valley the new coast has been delayed and it doesn't look all that shame really we'll be visiting thought park mardi gras yeah i think we'll probably head to mardi gras mm. at thought park at some point and see it and uh yeah in terms of Lightwater valley i mean ever since they ripped out the ultimate real shame because it that was a, a, a great ride i'll always remember a soger of a ride that we had on there, Charlotte. So basically, it was <laughs> chucking it down. We actually like broke down on the lift hill at this point, <laughs> and we were soaked. Drenched. Like it, we had like puddles of water like on us. <laughs> we were soaking wet. I mean, we did get to finish our ride, but I can remember we were dripping wet through. Yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> it, it was wasn't so great. funny. But I mean, you see the vlog back here on the channel from a few years ago. But uh, yeah, we were soaked. It was uh, the new coaster. <laughs> it's actually from uh, Camel Creek, so we've done it down there before, and yeah. That'd be nice to see it operating again. It was supposed to open in the next couple of days this weekend, I think. Mm. Been delayed, but I'm sure we'll be uh, heading down there. We will definitely go back we this year to like Water Valley. We didn't go last year, so we will go back. Um, Abby Boo T, who's watching tonight? Hi Thank out there you. to you, Abby. Thank you so much for watching the channel. Tom's Humble Abode. Oh, I love the name. Hi, Shawnee and Charlotte. Shawnee, hey, I'm going to... Uh, Cheddar's Point, Cedar Point. I think that's Cedar Point for the first time in August. Uh, any tips on how to make the most? I think you mean Cedar Point. I've never heard of Cheddar's Point. So I think I should, we'll go with, I think it's Cedar Point. 
tips for the visit midweek again early season uh, is a good time to go uh, but obviously with it being August it might be a bit busier but again arrive early stay late and maybe start right at the back of the park um, is, is a good call yeah. um, with go that one all the way to the back yeah definitely um, before is watching tonight hi Sean and Charlotte are you planning on visiting Funny World whilst in Germany keep up the good work uh, we did only just go to Funny World in September October last year on our Halloween trip we had so, so much fun we, we had a great time but we won't be going back this time I don't no think. it'll be like in a future visit next time we go all the time after but we won't be going this time yeah we like to keep it fresh we and that's do. the thing this year we've got some really different stuff um coming up to, to look forward to as well you know it's about getting some new things in and, and bringing you that and especially with our big trip for june uh which Ooh. we'll be talking about and sharing a few more details on in this video um so stay tuned for that um the steel edge my sister ugh, my sister face Faced me back at Thought Park over season last year. And I, and I met I you virtually. Um, well, there we are. I can't wait to meet you both at Hyperia opening day. It'll be good to see you there. Yeah, I'm really excited for the opening day of Hyperia. And it's weird to think it's like, what? So how, how many weeks it's away are we talking? It's not that long away, No, it's really. like, what, seven, seven, seven weeks? Something yeah, like that? Six, is, yeah. six and a half, seven weeks? Yeah, really excited for that one. Uh, Jake's watching tonight. You've been following since 2014, oh, 15. Long time. Thank You've come you. a long way since the weekly news shows. Oh, I know. Tell me about it. Great to see how much you've grown. Thank you so much for your support, Jake. Uh, we really do appreciate you it. You know, long-term fans of the channel that uh, you've stuck with us all the way through. And uh, we really do appreciate that. And there's so many of you watching tonight. Hi, everyone. I know. If you do enjoy our live streams, make sure you give the video a big like, a big thumbs up. And that shows that you'd like to see more live streams in the future. Uh, I'd like to do more streams from in the parks, to be honest. But it's signal, especially in the UK. You know, it's signal. And then also for filming a vlog. Um, you know, I want to make sure we get the best vlog content for you all. Instead of thinking, oh, we've got to get a live streaming as well you know so we try and get to create the best content that we can do for you all really and uh, just a bit of a recap we're heading out to Europa Park for Voltron's opening day. We just announced that in a few weeks' time. Uh, we're excited for that, the new big coaster at Europa yes. Park. And also, following on from that, we'll be back at Energylandia for Sweet Valley, getting back on Zardra. I can't wait for that. I love Zardra. <laughs> what a fantastic coaster that is, so I cannot wait to get back on that. We're going to be talking about another trip, and this is a bit of a bigger one that we're doing um, very shortly. So, yeah, stay tuned in this live stream, and we'll talk about that coming up. Uh, Katie Wilcox is watching tonight. Just started my first season working at Portons Park uh, when we'll be coming for a visit hope to meet us we'll definitely be we down at Portons soon uh, we're looking at going these next couple of weeks but the weather at the moment I'm not sure um, so we are going to be heading back to Portons soon stay tuned and of course best of luck working at the park lovely place Portons we one of our favourites in the UK it's such a nice park yeah it's lovely uh, Kaylee Joyce um, who's watching us tonight in the summer you're planning on going back to Paris and in that crazy stand up pirate ship still the best clip um, it was a great moment. If I'm ever in Paris in the summer, I'll definitely do it. And we, maybe we could have a side each. Yeah, on. I think I'd have to give it a go because I can remember the video and it, it was <laughs> so funny. So, yeah, maybe have a side each and I'll wave from at you. It was crazy. It, it was dangerous, it, 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 but it was funny, you know. It, it was, yeah, it was crazy. You just got to hold on tight. Uh, DGS official, hi, Sean and Charlotte. Uh, watching from Kent. Cheers Hi. for the photo at Thorpe Park. Uh, near Stealth, made my day. Keep up the good work. It was great to see you. And uh, yeah, of course, we've met so many fans, like more than ever these past couple of weeks. And that's the thing with, like, with opening days and things, the busy, the hectic days. But you know what? It's always lovely meeting so many of you it and really getting is. on the new additions for the year. And like Nemesis opening day is just like, one of the best days ever at Towers for me. Like the closing day so of original good. Nemesis and the opening day of new Nemesis. Two of my favourite days I've ever had at my local it was park. Just brilliant, wasn't it? Oh. The atmosphere was just electric on both of those days yeah it was uh, it was amazing it really was um, we've got uh, Vices who's watching tonight Vices Patronus is that how I pronounced it I think so uh, I recommend you take the big ferry between Stockholm and Helsinki whenever you're in Sweden Finland thank you so much need to get back to Helsinki at some point uh, I visited a couple of years ago and you've never been no, to Finland no I'd like to go yes that'd be uh, that'd be nice to do at some point in the future um, but so honestly, thank you so much for your support. We really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, we've got lots coming up, of course, with those trips that we just announced for Europe. Give you a bit of a clue. We are going to fully reveal this one um, in, in this video. But so, yeah, we are going to be going out back to the United States of America mm -hmm. next month. So stay tuned. We've got two Europe trips coming up this month. We've got the US coming up next month. And we'll talk about the itinerary. You get the speculation coming in. Where do you think we're going on this uh, America trip? Yeah, it's going to be... Uh, 
yeah, it'd be good to uh, take you all along, of course, for another adventure. Uh, now, along with that, then, of course, we've got so many different comments coming in, lots of different shout outs coming in tonight. Uh, but let us know, are you going to be at Hyperia's opening day? We'd love to know that, just to get a bit of an idea. Are you going for opening? Are you going to be holding off and waiting for it Let's to quieten down? Know. Is it going to quieten down? I mean, no. this is a record breaker for the UK. Is it going to have any quiet periods, do you think? This is a huge coaster, and people are really going to want to ride this, not just people from the UK. This is going to get a lot of international visitors as well to Thought Park, which is great for the industry. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Uh, but honestly, I'm really excited for it. Theme Park Time is watching tonight. How long have you been collecting merchandise? For a long time. I mean, I'm 31 this year. I've been collecting merch since maybe I was, you know, time. six, seven years old. So yeah, a long time that I've been uh, collecting the Theme Park merchandise. I absolutely love it. Um, Claire's watching tonight. Hello. And Isaac, A6. Hi Happy there, birthday. Isaac. Hey, have an absolutely amazing birthday. Thank you so much for watching <laughs> Theme Park Worldwide. And uh, you hope to meet us one day. If you do ever see us at a theme park, Isaac, come over, say hello. You can have a picture if you'd like to as well. Uh, Anthony, <laughs> please go back to Barry after the rubbish visit last time. <laughs> Barry Island Pleasure Park, what an interesting place. Very interesting. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure we'll go back at some point. I'd like to, you know, to, to go back and, and get on the rise down there. But uh, who knows when that will be. I mean, it was like two years ago when we last went, so... Yeah, we'll go back at some point in the future. <laughs> um, Joe Murphy, what's the best ride in Dubai? Um, Joe from Derbyshire. Or, I mean, Formula Rossa is amazing. Is. Um, yeah, I do love the launch on there. Uh, along with that as well, of course, I really enjoy um, just seeing the indoor parks and the, the big kind of dark rides and things that they've got out there. But uh, any other favourites that you had? The Madagascar coaster. Yeah, you really enjoy that, that Madagascar Mad Pursuit. Was Excellent. I was not expecting that coda to be so good. It, <laughs> it was, was great. brilliant. <laughs> we got John who's watching us tonight. Hello, there John. To John. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Just trying to catch up on all the comments. We've got so many coming in tonight. Really do appreciate your support. Uh, we've got Finn Gameplays. Hi, Theme Park Worldwide. Do you remember? I was the guy at Alton Towers a couple of weeks ago near Rita. It was lovely to see you. We've met so many fans recently. But uh, honestly, it was lovely to meet each and every we one of you. you. Like We really do appreciate that. Um, Attract Adventure, love your videos, been watching for years now. Myself and my partner get married in September. We're honeymooning in Orlando. Oh, oh there amazing. we go. That's absolutely amazing, that is. I have an absolutely amazing Definitely. time. Congratulations. What's this mean? Let's celebrate their first super on a live stream. Oh, there you go. It's just like, oh, I see. It's all right. I'm just looking at the settings. Here. It says, it, I thought it was going to come up with like confetti or something like that. That's it was, what I was expecting. Yeah, it was like, let's celebrate, do a special thing. Uh, Dan5800 spoke to one of the workers at Hyperia and he told me trains are due to be put on the track tomorrow. Ooh. We're testing beginning on Saturday if all goes to plan. He said, no seatbelts, just lap bars. Well, yeah, well, we, we know that one definitely. But if that's the case, there you go. Every to Monk's walk tomorrow. <laughs> we can't be there, sadly. <laughs> but uh, no, that's good. Um, I mean, if Hyperia starts it's testing Saturday. I think I know where everyone's going to be after Minifigure Speedway at definitely. Legoland. I definitely know that one. I can't wait <laughs> to see Hyperion start testing. I can't wait to see the train. I mean, it's got to be happening soon, hasn't it? It's it, got it, to it, be. It's got to be. You know, we've got to be really close to... Uh, so this actually happened now, haven't we? You know, but so uh, so exciting. Uh, Abby Boo going to Thought Park for opening day by myself. Super nervous. Any advice? I think it's one of them where a lot of the times, if you do go to the parks by yourself. You can just get on with your day. You can go and choose which ride you want to do and stuff like that. Make use of any single rider queues that they have. You'll have a great time. Oh, honestly, I hope you really enjoy it. And uh, yeah, that's the thing. Single rider is one of the best it things is. at a park, especially at Thorpe. There's quite a few uh, single riders down there. Which is awesome. Noah's watching tonight. Hi, Sean and Charlotte. Hope you're having a good night. We are. Thank you. Thank spending you. it with all of you guys. I'm mm -hmm. uh, just wondering what your ideal future for Galactica is. Sadly, won't be making it to Hyperia. Oh, hopefully you get on it soon. With Galactica, we said this earlier on. We'll say it again. I would love to certainly see Galactica be completely rethemed um, to fit in with the rest of the Phalanx theme, really. Definitely. It feels very out of place at the moment. So it needs to be tied into the area. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's going to happen at, uh, at some point in the future. I'm pretty, uh, pretty certain on that one. Cole's watching tonight. Any plans to go to Michigan's Adventure? Shivering Timbers is worth the trip. Rest of the park is lacking, though, for Cedar Fair. I'll always try and visit as many parks as we can. Big, small, we'll cover it all. I've always said that. Uh, one day we could be at a massive Disney park. The next day we could be at some tiny park with one coaster. For us, we always go to a park um, and just kind of review it based on what that experience exactly. is offering. We know that smaller, more family-owned parks can't always um, co you know, compete with the bigger parks. That's fine. But when we go, we always review it based on what they're offering and what we can Definitely. see um, at that park. 
Uh, GS official again. I visit in Dreamland Margate this year. Hey, could, Dreamland Margate. Hey, could add something to the future down there. Uh, I think they're going to need some more investment. Definitely. It's clear with Dreamland. It's not really a big focus for them, the amusement park. It's more events and stuff now and concerts. Uh, and they do really well at that. But as long as that keeps the scenic railway going and the other rides... I'm quite that happy with that. Happy. Yeah, definitely, because it's a lo lovely place. It really is. Uh, I just can't get over that news about Hyperia possibly starting to that's test tomorrow. Really exciting. Like uh, on Saturday. I mean, that that's amazing. That is really exciting news indeed. Um, Danielle Cooper's watching tonight. Hi all to my family. Love your videos. My one-year-old smiles Aww. when you come on. Oh, that's nice to know. He loves you. And are you planning any children? Oh, thanks for the great videos. I guess watch this space. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows what could happen? in the future but we are getting married this year and that's Which is uh, so you know and that is very exciting yeah we cannot wait for that adam willis is watching tonight and your girlfriend emily is a massive Hello, fan emily. hi emily thank you so much for watching really do appreciate that uh, Snorky Media, please restart the travel vlogs for your Europe trips. Yeah, we always do uh, travel vlogs. Obviously, if we've done that route before, we don't really cover it again. But yeah, I know people find the travel vlogs uh, and travel tips really helpful. So we always try our best um, with those ones because obviously, yeah, I know it really, really does help you all oh, out. Oh, someone's got GCSEs on Hyperia's opening day. Oh, oh no. yeah, it's a Friday, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I know. Oh, no, but uh, love, hate games. Hi, both. I uh, hope you really well. Met you in Ikea Sheffield two years ago when you went to the Greg's drive through We love drive the Greg's drive through uh, And also all the family really enjoyed the Disney Cruise and Dubai vlogs. Thank oh, you. Thanks so much for your support. We really do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we're always in Ikea. You never know. If we're not at a theme park, you we're may spot shops. us in Ikea. Like, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Ikea cafe getting meatballs. Never buy anything now because we got the things we need for the house, really. But you know, I just enjoy a trip and have some nice meatballs. Do you like oh, Ikea meatballs? They like, are so, so good. Yeah, they come in down Ikea below. Ikea meatballs with a mashed potato is just fantastic. You enjoy them, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> we had them the other day. It was lovely. In a few minutes, we're going to be talking about that USA trip that we're going to be Ooh. doing next month. So uh, stay tuned for those details. Any guesses? Keep them coming in in the video comments. Just manage to catch up on all the comments. We've got so many coming in. Eddie's Hello, got a, a Blackpool question. What would you like to see at Blackpool with the new investments? Watching from Derbyshire, Edward and girlfriend Ellie. Ooh, what would we like to see at Blackpool? Well, you know what? It sounds like Blackpool have got some interesting mm, stuff planned where Grand Prix was. It's quite a large footprint in that area. So I guess we'll uh, we'll see what see. happens in, in the near future. But as always, you know, I love Pleasure Beach. So I look forward to seeing what they do going forwards. Uh, James, will you be at Alton Towers Monday or Tuesday? Possibly so. To be honest, with Alton Towers, other than an opening day for things, we don't actually lock in our days for going, we do, do we? Well, because just literally, we could just be sitting there and we'll be like, should we go up to Alton Towers? And we'll just go. <laughs> That's the beauty of, uh, of of living so exactly. close, I guess. But um, yeah, it's always nice, kind of just having that ability to just nip up to Alton Towers nice. uh, when we can do. MJW Vlogs is watching us tonight. Hi out there to you, and uh, thank you so much for your support. Uh, Mrs. Tigbits is watching tonight. Love the both of you and the honesty oh, thank you. in the vlogs. That's the thing. We'll always keep things honest, Definitely. and and that's the thing. You know, I know a lot of you may only visit one or two theme parks a year. We always want to give you the best reviews and advice that we can do um, because you know theme parks and visit them it's expensive they isn't are, it they are yeah you know we always try our best and, uh, and and give you the best uh, information that we can do. Victoria, 23rd Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday to you. Uh, supported you for many years. Met you both in Epcot and Monk's Walk. <laughs> Love it. Do you think Tower of Terror and DLP will be everything to Guardians? Uh, I hope not. Like, as much as Guardians in, in California Adventure is good fun, I love Tower of Terror. Really Tower. Yeah, and the story, like the creepy like little girl now, like, it's terrifying, isn't it? it? Is, yeah. And she's like, don't scream, and then you drop, and oh, Please, I we, love we, it. We don't want to see Tower of Terror removed. Definitely not. Uh, Sinbad rides again. Any plans to visit smaller Asia countries like Vietnam, Thailand, and Philippines? Also, Gold Reef City. Uh, yeah, I'd like to. I'd love to visit everywhere at some point <laughs> if we uh, get the chance to. But yeah, definitely some more unique stuff coming up. First vlog, Disneyland Paris 2012. Oh, there you oh, go. All the way back to the start when I took my mum out to Disneyland Paris and we stayed at Sequoia Lodge. Oh, the nice ride, are we? Hi. Hi to you, good friends of ours. Are you doing HHN this year? Great to see you live. Um, who knows? Who knows? Uh, we, we don't know at the moment. So, uh, as it stands, we've got no plans to go back to Florida um, like later this year because we've already been this year. We want to do some different things, keep the content fresh. 
But uh, there is, of course, Halloween Horror Nights in Hollywood. There so is. I've not done that for years. You've never I've done it. I've never been before. Um, so, you know, I'd we'll like see. to maybe do that at some point, definitely. But uh, thanks so much for watching. Nice drive us high out there to Tenerife. Hi. Anybody else watching <laughs> Tenerife tonight? Let us know. Dave Steele. Hi, Sean and Charlotte. Your channel is by far the best theme park channel. Do you think Nemesis Reborn opening day will be better than Hyperia's? Or oh, it's tough. It I think they're both going to be good days. But I think in terms of how special the, the nostalgia is for Nemesis... You know, there was probably more hype and excitement for Nemesis than mm -hmm. there might be at Hyperia. But then we don't know because obviously it's a, it's a UK record holder. Uh, I'm certainly excited for it. I we think there's going to be uh, an amazing atmosphere at both. I'm looking forward to that. Theme Park Epic, going to Energy Landy in May. Do you have any tips? Uh, well, we're doing our trip in a few weeks, so you have to watch the vlogs and it'll give you lots of tips and information. But uh, Energy Landia, massive park. It's huge. Uh, so wear comfy shoes and uh, always go straight to the back. Never do the rides by the energy. Don't go to Hyperion. Go all the way to the back. <laughs> uh, Hyperion, Hyperion, that's going to get confusing, it isn't is. it, in the next few weeks? You can guarantee I'm going to mess that up at some point. Um, but yeah, looking forward to, uh, of course, getting back there and we'll give you lots of tips along the way. And of course, we're going to talk about that US trip. We will get onto that in just a second. We've got so many comments coming in tonight, uh, which is amazing. Thanks so much for your support. Family Vibes is watching tonight. Uh, hi again, we're doing Disneyland from your recommendation. Disney David Crockett Ranch is booked. Can't wait. Any tips? Uh, I've never actually stayed there before at David Crockett Ranch, but I've heard it's very good, mm. very traditional like Disney experience as yeah, well. which would be really nice. Um, you yeah, know, how you enjoy the yeah. water park's supposed to be good there. I've never done it, actually. And that's from Ash, Rach, Albie and Lacey Have as well. Have a great time. Hope you enjoy it. Kotha Credits uh, is watching tonight from Wales. Hi, both. I'm at Towers on Saturday for the Towers Times Nemesis ERT event. Oh, but high winds nice. are forecast. How could it affect operations? Of course, if there's strong winds, it can quite badly affect operations. Safety comes first. Safety always comes first. Obviously, weather isn't, you know, in yeah. control by the parks. Um, I, I hopefully, you, you know, you can get everything, Fingers especially your, your ERT that you've got. I really do hope so with that one. But, uh, yeah, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic time. Um, DJS Official, have you heard anything about a Lion King log flume at DLP? Is it true? False info. Well, there's rumours that they could be building a huge Lion King land. And this is rumours. Um, instead of doing the original Galaxy's Edge that we're going to build, um, this could be announced at D23 this summer. Um, some big Disney announcements. So I guess we'll uh, we'll see with that one. But uh, no, it'd be nice if a so. A Lion King getaway would be so good. Oh, I'd love Lion King. That'd it be was. fantastic. The Alton Enthusiast is watching. Zach's watching. Favourite part of Nemesis Reborn? Or what do I miss from the original? And oh, so that first part of the question. Um, my favourite part of Nemesis Reborn has got to be the downward helix for the intensity. Uh, and what do I miss from the OG? The waterfalls for me. What about oh, you? Oh, the waterfalls was a classic. Now I'm going to be really kind controversial with what I miss. I actually miss the original eyes. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I actually really miss the original eyes because it was just so cute on the top. On so the that, front. That's one thing that I do miss. Oh, that's interesting. You know, we've got the big, yeah, impressive eyes. I really miss the original eyes. Oh, there you go. That's an interesting one. And what time for Hyperion's opening day? Wow, it's going to be an early, early start. It's going to be an early start. Nemesis, we were there for what, like... Six, six. 6.30, it could be an early one again for that one. Theme Park Epic, it. it will be. It's going to Australia in December. Have a great time. Oh, we love it there. It's amazing. Australia was such a good trip. Still one of the best trips we've done. Uh, Samantha, lovely channel. What Royal Caribbean ship are you going on? We're going on the Allure of the Seas in May. So, yeah, we're doing Royal Caribbean, um, which is going to be amazing for our honeymoon, aren't we? Oh, we can't wait for that. It's going to be really exciting. Yeah, so we're going on it's uh, Oasis, Oasis of the Seas. Oasis of the Seas. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of them sound so similar. They do. I think is... they're all like of the seas and stuff yeah. like that, but it's very exciting. Oasis of the Seas, yeah, that's what we're going on. Mm. It is definitely. But so now I'm excited for that. Jennifer's watching. Can't wait to hear about <gasps> your plans. Have some dipping dots in the yes! US on me. I love dipping dots. They are just mm. the best. They're so good. Thanks, Thank Jennifer. You. And with you I mentioned in the US and dipping dots, let's talk about it. So yeah, we already mentioned we're going out into Europa Park for Voltron Navira is opening in a few weeks. We're going to Energylandia for Sweet Valley and to see that park again for the first time in three years. We're going to be doing a little mini US trip. Now, it's not going to be a 25 park spectacular <laughs> like we did in June last year because, of course, we've got the big Asia trip coming up Ooh. in June. So we'll come on to that later in the video. We're teasing these gradually. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're going to America next month. And the main reason for this trip is getting back to Cedar Point to ride Top Thrill 2, the reimagined Top Thrill Dragster. I'm excited to ride it. And of course, Charlotte here never did the original. I never got to do the original. Last time I went to Cedar Point, I just had to literally look at Top Thrill Dragster because I couldn't <laughs> go on it. So I'm really looking forward to seeing 
how this rides. I never rode the original, so it's just going to be a brand new open mind for me. And also, it's going to be my birthday when we're Yay! going out here. It's like second week of May, so that's exciting. My birthday. We booked Hotel Breakers. Never stayed there before, which is the on like proper on site. Um, right at the park, we've got the beach, you've got the pools. Uh, so it's going to be a proper like yeah, holiday. Lovely. Obviously, the US road trip, we had two days at Cedar Point. It was busy, it was quite what? rushed. Uh, what we're doing with this, we've got four days there. We're going to chill out, we're going to get loads of re rides in. Charlotte can get back on Maverick. I cannot wait <laughs> to get back on Maverick and just keep going around for re rides. I've missed Maverick so much, so I can't wait to get back on it. You love that, don't you? And, Great uh, yeah, and just get back on, get on top thrill too. I'm really excited for it. That back was launched, just over 100 miles Looks an hour. Great. Um, looks amazing. The uh, marketing people there rode it a couple of days ago, saw the footage. The back was launched, looks great. That initial launch looks quite slow, but, but you do get a rollback. Yeah, you know, so that'll be cool every time. And then you've got the back was launched up that 420 spike. I can't wait for it. Bring it on. So yeah, we're going back to Cedar Point, proper resort stay. We're going to go more into the hotel, more into the um, the resort offering as well as the theme parks. That's going to be great. And Top Thrill 2 is coming up for that as well. I like, cannot wait to actually not have to just look at it. I can actually ride it, which is excellent. Fingers crossed. Like, yeah, I know. Fingers and, crossed. We can trust Dan Perla. It's going to be a great ride. Like It looks fantastic from what we can see. James is watching tonight. Hello to you both. Big fan from Goldstone. 10 minutes from Yarmouth. Now you both enjoy the local parks. Bump into you again soon. Love it down there in Great really Yarmouth. Normally come down the summer for a few days. Uh, it's great. That's and if so you go nice. in Great Yarmouth for the parks, don't forget to do the circus as well. Um, we love the circus there at the Hippodrome. Like, it's amazing. We love that, don't we? Um, we'll get back onto the America trip in a moment because there is more. We're not just going to see the point. Um, there is more coming up, so stay tuned for that. But Top Thrill 2 is coming up Yay. next month on Theme Park Worldwide. Uh, John Reed, love your channel. Cheers to your next adventures. Thank you. Thank you so much, John. Really do appreciate your support. Callum's watching. Any plans to head back to Lightwater Valley? It's my childhood park and it's sad they've lost many rides, but they've got the new coaster. Yeah, we spoke about this earlier. We are going back this we year. Um, we'll get on the new coaster and we'll, uh, we'll check that out and see what that's going to be like. Ryan Thompson. Hi, Sean and Charlotte. A Scottish fan here. Mm -hmm. Ever wondered if either of you visit Loudoun Castle before it closed? Love you, Ben Nevis vlog, Sean. You brighten up my day. Oh, thanks so much. Thank uh, I did Loudoun Castle like before it closed, yeah, many years ago, and I enjoyed that. That was certainly my favourite park, actually, in Scotland. I enjoyed that more than M&Ds. Um, but we, you, we need to get back up to Scotland because Charlotte over here, I can't I believe it. I've never been to Scotland, <laughs> so I need to go to Scotland because I've never been. All the travelling around know, the world. And I've never been to Scotland. You've been to Australia. I know. And, 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 you've, been, been, and you've been to Scotland. Scotland. Like, what's going on? I know. You know, of course, Ryan, you know, it, there's just not much theme park action in Scotland. <laughs> I wish there was. Scotland deserves a full blown out big theme park again or a big refurbishment of M&Ds but there's not that much is there for theme park enthusiasts in Scotland and my favourite place in, in Scotland that I really liked actually was Cadona I thought that was nice mm. so we had to get back there and also Landmark Forest but the coast is gone now but I enjoyed it at Landmark Park I thought that was good when I did that but uh, thanks Ryan for your support um, hello, I was at Alton Towers today. Ooh. Saw some action behind the Alton Manor toilet block on the new scare maze. Ooh, yeah, I reckon the clearing that ready. I mean, the planning permission should get accepted probably next month. Get that built on there. Mix between that cover and the shipping containers. New maze. Scarefest this year is sounding quite promising, isn't it? Yes! Finally. Fresh investment. <laughs> yes! Oh, this is what we want. We're looking forward <laughs> to it. Tom Zumbleabo, what's your current coast accounts? Uh, Saturday's visit to Legoland will be my 340th and 341st. Have a great That's time. Brilliant. I'm just on over 1,400 coasters now. And what about you, Charlotte? I actually lost my coaster count list. <laughs> so it was one of them where I couldn't restart it again because it would take me so long to put everything back on. So as I currently stand, <laughs> I'm not too sure. <laughs> Maybe I'll go through it again and try and like work it out. Yeah, you, you need to. Yeah, I know I do. You need to, but uh, it's one of them. I'm not as, like, back in the day, I used to be like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll count, you know, I'll go out my way to ride like a go-gator or crocodile mm -hmm. coaters and caterpillars and stuff. But now I'm not quite like that. I, pr I prioritise the bigger stuff, uh, but I still count. I think for me, getting to that thousand uh, Dollywood back in 2019 was like the big one. And since then, it's just been like, yeah, you know, take it a bit more, uh, a, a bit more chilled out now. Happy birthday, George. Hey, happy birthday, George. Have an absolutely wonderful time. Zach's watching, got his English GCSEs the day before Hyperion's opening day. Torn between the decision to stay home and revise or go and enjoy the experience. Mm -hmm. Of course, we take these very seriously we at Theme Park Worldwide when it comes to education. Um, so get yourself to Hyperion. Get yourself to Hyperion. Like, yeah. <laughs> go and have a ride. Do it. Like, honestly, like... At the end of the you day, can't, you can't, you can't miss, miss it. it. Revising the queue. Yeah. How about could, that? It's yeah. going to be a long queue. Take your revision yeah. box into the queue, 
and revise in the long queue. That's what I'd recommend Definitely. doing. Definitely. Yeah, there you go. And anybody else, I'd say, take your revision with you. Yeah, like, why not? Why not? You could do. Like, you could definitely do that, couldn't you? But uh, have an absolutely amazing time. Coaster Girl, uh, 83, love the channel. Can you say hi to Ethan? Hello, Ethan. Hi, Ethan. Thanks for watching the channel. We really do appreciate your support. Just getting through all these comments tonight. We've so got, many. Uh, yeah, so many. Chloe is watching tonight. Thank I you. hope you're well. Thank you for your hard work. Thanks for watching. We really we do appreciate, appreciate it. it. It's very kind of you as well. Uh, now, of course, we've already spoken a little bit about the um, the US trip. We're going back to Cedar Point. Uh, we was only there last year, but this time we're there for four days. More time for re-rides and more content. Because uh, I love Cedar Point. Staying at hotel breakers on site and riding on top. Thrill 2, which is going to be great. Uh, but along with that, we're going to be visiting a few other parks as well. So we're going to be flying into New York. And when we did the road trip last year, we started and ended in Newark in New Jersey. And we did a sightseeing day in New York, but we didn't actually do any of the parks. And that was because I've done them before, but Charlotte had never seen New York City, had you before, you know? So what we wanted to do is we want we didn't have long in New York, so we wanted to prioritise like sightseeing in New York while we was there. And we thought what we'll do is we'll go later at another different date to do the parks. And this is exactly what we're going to be doing on this trip. Yeah, so we're going to be uh, going to back to the American... Well, I say going back to... I'll be going back to <laughs> taking Charlotte for the first time to the American Dream Mall in New Jersey and Nickelodeon Universe. They've had a couple of new additions since I last went when that opened a few years ago. So I'm looking forward to that. Along with that, we'll be visiting the historic Luna Park, um, Coney Island, getting back on the Cyclone. That's a lovely park, that is. And uh, they've had lots of new rides around there. You've also got a small amusement park with the big Wonder Wheel nearby. So we're going to be doing that as well. And they've got a new coaster there since last time I went. There's a few new coaster creds around there. There's a new log flume to do. <laughs> hey. no, I'm, I'm laughing because... Every time Sean says about Coney, is it Coney Island? Coney Island. I keep saying, because they do a hot dog eating championship there, <laughs> yeah. and I keep bringing it up, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's where they do the hot dog eating championships, but it's only on certain times of the year. There you go. <laughs> but, uh, no, looking uh, looking forward to, yeah, uh, to looking that. Yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, and there's going to be a few more parks that we're going to be doing nearby, two that I've never done before. So stay tuned to tonight's live still, and we'll uh, reveal those in a few minutes for you. Uh, DJS Official, can we see any charity fundraising in the future, like ride challenge? all day challenges for charity and well done for Charlotte stepping in uh, definitely yeah, something we definitely. may look at doing again it all comes down to time and trips and all that sort of thing but uh, I'd like to do something like that at some point in the future raising money for a good cause definitely really uh, no, that's certainly uh, what we'll uh, what we'll do at some point in the future uh, now along with doing those parks of course quite a, a good little uh, trip that we've got going on there around the New York area and also up to Cedar Point we're also um, finally going to hopefully <laughs> get Charlotte here on King Dakar at Six Flags Great Adventure. Now, last year we had some bad luck, didn't we, on that trip we at the did. end? We did. So, unfortunately, we didn't get on King Dakar. I got to go on the drop tower attached to King Dakar. <laughs> But I'm really excited and fingers crossed we're going to get Kinder Car yeah. when we go. Yeah, hopefully so. Now, how I've planned this trip, we've got a, a, a few days we can play around with. Yeah. So, you know, hopefully the cable, you know, is fine this time and we're going to get our ride on there. I really um, hope fingers so. crossed. But uh, I've done it before, but Charlotte's never done it. So, um, Kinder Car, we're going back to Six Flags Great Adventure. Oh, it's only like an hour or so of drive from New York. So, we'll go and get that in uh, just for the day and I can't get on go that. again and just look at it. <laughs> They've got the new coast of the Super Boomerang opening this year. But to be honest, I don't think that's going to be ready for next month. No. It, it might not be ready this year at the moment. Like, not a lot has happened with that yet. So I guess we'll see what happens. And yes, there's a couple more parts we're visiting and we'll talk about them in just a moment. Claire Cox, who's watching tonight, big shout out to James Cox. He's a massive fan, follows all the vlogs and looking forward to your next Alton Towers visit in four Have weeks' time. time. Enjoy it. I always love a good visit to Alton Towers. How many visits we had this year? We've been about eight or nine times, I think, I think. Yeah, I've been keeping track of it. Yeah, we're keeping track this year. Uh, Mikey Track is watching tonight. That was a good night. little link in there, wasn't Hello, it? Hello, Ellie Rose. There we go. Thank you for watching. Sam Webb's watching tonight. We'll be at Hyperia's opening day. So have an absolutely amazing time. No, I like that one. A cred's a cred, though. It's very true. A cred it is a cred. Um, so, yeah, along with them um, doing them parks, we're going to be uh, checking out two places for the first time. One of them is Adventureland that I've never done. Now, I know there's a lot of parts called Adventureland, but we're going to be doing the one in New York. So looking forward to that. And along with that, it's like 45 minutes, an hour's drive from Coney Island. So we're going to do that. And also going to be checking out another park called Playland, which looks quite interesting. And this is like a, a, a boardwalk style park by the looks of it. They've got a woody there and a few other bits. I've not done that much research into them, but we're going to do them. Obviously, with it still being May, 
opening times are still restricted to like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Mondays, limited openings, that sort of thing. Um, but I've done my research. I managed to plan a nice little itinerary. So this US trip, it's going to be about a, an 11 day trip. Uh, we're doing all them parks there. Cedar Point being the big headliner. Um, we top thrill too. But getting a couple of parks we've never covered on the channel before. Some that Charlotte never been to. Some that I've not been to a few years. And also King Dakar. So it's good really because obviously on the last US trip, you didn't get top thrill because it was having the refurb. Didn't get King Dakar because it was closed. So this trip, with you know, you should get both of them. Fingers locked crossed. In. I'll be very happy if I <laughs> manage to get both of them. <laughs> That's what we want. Big uh, shout out to Dan who's watching tonight. Uh, and we've got Billy Bibbs here. Hi, Sean and Charlotte. I'm a big fan. I love roller coasters and water slides. My mum and me, uh, we are roller coaster Aww, buddies. I love that. Oh, that's nice. Like family trips that's to parks. Lovely. It's always special. And that's what started it off for me visiting theme parks with my mum and dad, you know, and them taking me to all these parks and just having an amazing time. And honestly, it's so special. Um, it is when you, when you visit with your parents. And yeah. mum and dad will make an appearance again soon. Don't worry about that. Um, we'll get them to a theme park. We normally do a couple of bits with them each year. Uh, we'll definitely take them to a theme park. Uh, at some point in the future. Uh, the Stephen H. FaceTime. Oh, that was from the one earlier on. I remember now. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. Uh, Angel Gaze. Hi, Sean and Charlotte. Love seeing you on Nemesis opening day. Can you give a shout out to Louise, Harry and Mark? Hi. Hi out there to the three of you. Thank you so much, Louise, Harry and Mark, for watching. We really do appreciate all of your support. That's a nice comment. Charlotte is absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank you. That's so kind. She is absolutely beautiful. Oh, That's why I'm married her this year. Hey. <laughs> but uh, there you go. Um, Carl Cook from South End who's watching. Love the channel and the Sambrook Adventures, especially the cruise reviews. No word here yet for the Drop Tower Adventure Island. No, I did see on X, Twitter. Like, you have to say both, don't you, I nowadays? Know, it's annoying. You can't say X. People are like, what's that? Uh, I saw on Twitter the other day um, that the tower ride was testing over in Italy. So hopefully it's going to be coming over to yeah, the UK it's soon. Close. It's not going to be a big install, that. I mean, it's just bolting it onto the foundation, yeah. isn't it, really? Uh, a few days of install, some testing, and it should open. So we'll be back down at Adventure Island um, for when that opens. That's the thing. We're just waiting for some of these new additions before going back to some of these parks. Um, we've got a lot of park tricks coming up the next couple of weeks uh, before we head out on these trips that we've got lined up in Europe and then America. Um, it's going to be quite a constant kind of roll of trips, really, from in a couple of weeks' time with some UK bits in between um, as well. So, yeah, just a bit of a recap on the trip from what we've got then. So in a few weeks' time, literally two and a half weeks, it's out to Europa Park in Germany for the opening of Voltron Nevera. A couple of days after that, we're going to be heading out to Energylandia in Poland for our first visit in a few years and to check out the new Sweet Valley area. And about a week after that, uh, in the middle of May next month, we're going to be heading out to the United States of America, uh, back to Cedar Point for the reimagined Top Thrill Dragster into Top Thrill 2, staying on site at Hotel Breakers. We've got four days. We're going to be doing Six Flags Great Adventure. We're going to Coney Island. We're going to Nickelodeon University Indoor Theme Park. We're doing a couple of smaller parks, Adventureland and also Playland as well. So, yeah, that's uh, all coming up as part of that trip. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a nice kind of 10-day US trip. Um, like I say, it's not the big uh, road <laughs> that we did last year um, in June, but that's mainly because we got something awesome planned for June, and that is going to be a huge trip. And now we are going to be saving all of the details of that for a sit down so video um, because I'm still finalizing the itinerary uh, and getting it right. But we will tell you uh, that it's going to be an Asia trip. It's going to be happening in June and it's going to be a 27 day adventure that you're going to be able to join us on around four different countries in Asia. So there you go. That's uh, a little hint. That's all we're saying for that's now on that we're one. Say. Um, but that's coming up. Of course, Charlotte's never been to any of these parks before. Can't wait. It will include a lot of parks that I've not done. In fact, there's more parks on the Asia trip coming up that I haven't visited than I have. So that's exciting. And we can also tell you, because of course we announced our big Disney year, we're going to be visiting the three Disney resorts in Asia as part of that. So we're going to be at Shanghai Disney Resorts, Hong Kong Disney, and also Tokyo Disney Resorts. And we will be there for Fantasy Springs, which is the new area at Tokyo Disney Sea. So, um, yeah, that's really exciting. We will be there. We've got guaranteed access. Um, we've just booked one of the vacation packages for Fantasy Springs. So that's a little hint to what's coming. So We're doing Disney, it. but there's so much more. It's not just going to be a Disney-focused trip at all. There's a lot of uh, stuff coming up. And uh, a country that I've never been to before in Asia, 
that I'm really excited for. I'm saying too much. It'll That's be coming up all in a future video. Oh, it's so exciting. We love it. Um, theme park epic. Uh, hi, Sean. Big fan of yours. Me and my dad have seen you at Alton Towers. My cousins live in Australia. Oh, uh, nice. Have you been to Uppington? That's where I live. I don't think I've been to Uppington before, to be honest. No. I don't think so. Uh, can you say hi to Ethan? Um, hi there to Ethan. Thanks for watching. Follow and watch since age five. Oh. oh. Met us several times. Hope to see at high period opening. Still remember seeing me at Bubble Works closing. Aww. Oh, that was a sad day, that was. Oh, thanks, so Chris, for watching. Chris Hawkins, really appreciate your support. Uh, the, 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 just getting through all the uh, comments. Make sure we've got everything in. Uh, Emily, are you visiting Fantasy Island? Skegness, love your channel. Uh, yes, we definitely will be back at Fantasy Island very soon. Um, so stay tuned for that. We're, uh, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be good getting back. Kevin's watching tonight from Birmingham. Can you wish my partner Victoria good luck as she's about to give birth to the baby daughter? That is so exciting. We wish oh, you the best of luck. Honestly, best of luck to you all, Kevin and Victoria from Birmingham. And of course, I've even put here, going to be an enthusiast oh, like us. Oh, that is so cute. I love it. Amazing. Congratulations. Uh, along with that, just want to say thank you to Al B for watching tonight. Really appreciate all of your support as well. Uh, oh, that's an interesting one. Shammy B versus Hyperia. Ooh. Can't wait to compare from Becky, Gaz and Eddie. Oh, I guess we'll uh, we'll find out with uh, with that one. Cameron Stewart's watching tonight from Birmingham. Are we going to Flamingo Land? Yeah, we were going to go this week, but Kamali's closed at the moment. So we thought we'll wait and hold off as if Kamali opens up. We keep checking um, every day in case it comes back yeah, on. Yeah, but uh, it will get to a point in the next couple of weeks. So we think, you know what, Definitely. Kamali's not open yet. We'll go. Because I know uh, Flamingo Land's always a popular one for people seeing what it's like, especially before you go on your holidays to the caravans and mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Um, it's lovely with Flamingo Land how it's got the, the caravan park next to it. It's like this little resort in a way. Yeah, it's really Great. nice. Nice, near the coast um, I know a lot of people have some great times there and you know don't just go for the day it's for the full experience so we will be back there soon um, stay tuned for that one we'll uh, definitely be back at Flamingo Land in a few weeks hopefully we'll, we'll wait for Kamali if not and it doesn't open we'll head down anyway uh, Zach B are you going to drive down the morning of Hyperia's opening day or are you staying in the shark cabins the night before um, so yeah we're actually going to be down there before the opening day and uh, also I've managed to book one of the Hyperia cabins at the Thor Thorpe Shark Hotel. So that's something to look forward to. Um, they're, they're all branded and everything. They look really it's nice. really cool to see those. Yeah, so that'll be nice. We're staying in one of those. Um, DGS official again. Would you ever experience Virgin Cruises? Uh, I'd like definitely to. an option. Uh, the Raddle only, I think. Yeah, there, I believe Virgin they Cruises. are. Yeah, we'd definitely be up for doing one of those. Yeah, definitely. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> Jessica <laughs> Parker. Love your videos. We'll be enjoying a German sausage on your trip to Germany. Uh, big shout out to Ed. Hi, Ed. Thanks Hello. for watching. Uh, thank you so much. Well, your contribution there will definitely go towards a nice big German sausage. Oh, so I can't uh, we'll wait. eat that on the, on camera for you to enjoy. But uh, thanks so much for thank uh, you. all your support. Of course, anyone that's sending super chats tonight, we really thank you so, that. so much. It's really kind of you all. And it all helps fund these trips to bring you more content um, you know it's like this cycle you know and it, it lets us go on these adventures and we have an amazing share time but share it with all of you and take you all along and share tips especially from our local park Alton Towers we always try and share the best tips and information that we can do and keeping things honest and you'll have seen that especially you know with uh, the Oblivion lift hill climb that we did which was a pretty much a disaster from the uh, Alton Towers VIP team a few weeks ago luckily they've invited us back and we've got that to look forward to ne next week I yeah. think Doing I think that. it is next week, yeah. Um, yeah, so we're going to be doing that. But... Oh, no, week after. Is it week after? Because it's still Easter holiday. Oh, it is. Week. Oh, yeah. Well, are we on 4th, aren't we? So, yeah, so it'll be couple, next couple of weeks we're redoing the Oblivion Walk. But granted, we did the Wicker Man one. That was great, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, we really enjoyed it. The team on there did such a great job. Oh, yeah, the staff were great. And on the Oblivion one, the they ride were. staff were fantastic. You know, it was more just the, the general operation and filming and all that jazz. Yeah. Um, Chris Han Hankins is watching tonight. Chris Hankins, there we go. Going to Orlando for the first time in August for four days. Which parts would you do in that time? <sighs> Four days, it's Definitely quite a, a tight one that is for Orlando. Uh, but obviously, you know, the best bits, you, a couple of days at Universal, a couple of days at Disney, if you can do. Uh, you know, you could whiz round and see the highlights and, and the six parks mm -hmm. there, like the four Disney, two Universal. You could whiz round, you wouldn't get everything in. But you could see the best bits, I think, couldn't you, in four days. Definitely, It'd be, uh, be quite action-packed though, wouldn't it? You'd yeah, have to do, you know, a day each Universal and then, you know, the other Disney parks, two mm -hmm. a day. So that'd be quite... Quite a, a tough one, but yeah, hopefully it'll uh, it'll go down well for you. Dave, uh, I'd like to see you guys versus other theme park YouTubers in a theme park general knowledge quiz on a live stream for charity. Towers could host. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, if anyone from Alton Towers is watching, 
you know, hook us up. You know how to find us. Uh, we'll be up for doing that, of course, raising money for charity and good causes. Uh, Chris Purvis, can my daughter Amelia, who's 10, have a shout out? Hello, Hi. Amelia. She wrote Nemesis for the first time today. Oh, that's great. Loves the channel all the way from South Shields. Oh, I love South Shields. Nice there by the coast. And of course, you've got the fun part there as well, which is really nice up at uh, Ocean Beach. There we go, Ocean Beach Pleasure Park. T uh, theme Park Screamers, Sean Fancy, a tide away soaking. I'm always up for a soaking on tidal wave when the weather's good enough. Uh, most of the time, it's always cold, isn't it? Like, you know, the weather, the weather's been miserable recently. It's been awful. And I really hope that the weather is better soon. Just going I back to that so. idea of a, um, of doing a, a to, to raise money for charity kind mm. of thing, like a, a quiz. That's definitely something if Alton Towers, you know, wouldn't host that. That's something we could definitely look yeah. at setting up. Like, that'd be, that'd yeah. be really good to do. Uh, Jamie Armstrong Hitchkins is watching. Big fans from Gloucester. Love meeting you last year in Thorpe. And thanks for the great Christmas cameo. No problem mm. at all. Hope to see you at Hyperia opening. Are you going to be staying in the Shark Cabins? Yeah, we, we answered that one a couple of minutes ago. We're going to be staying in Hyperia Cabins, which is going to be fantastic. I'm really, really looking forward to that. Um, Holly S is watching tonight from Detroit. Hello there Hello. to the United States. Um, see the points at home park. Sure, you'll see you there. Uh, toddler in tow this time, so we'll catch you in Camp Snoopy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in Camp Snoopy. Uh, but I uh, look forward to getting back. Uh, I'm sure you can do a bit of child swap and get on top thrill too. Like Definitely. you've got to, haven't you? Like got to be done. Oh, thank you, Terry. Terry. Have a drink on me. Thank you so much, Terry, for your support. I really do appreciate it. I'm glad that you enjoy watching the channel. Very kind of you. Thank you so much. Um, but of course, yeah, we've got these big trips coming up, which is going to be really exciting. Just making sure that we were getting through all of the comments and super chats and everything that have come in tonight. Because uh, we've had so many. Honestly, wow. thank you so much. We've been, uh, well, we've been streaming for about 70 minutes, haven't we now? We'll uh, keep going for a little bit longer. Um, you got any questions? Keep them yeah, coming in. Yeah, send them in. We'll try the you know, best to answer. We'll, we'll, we'll pick out some questions, some shout outs, that sort of thing. Um, are you going to Butlins this year from Sam and Joe? I'm Jones? sure we will be. Yeah, Butlins videos. You always enjoy seeing them, don't you? So we love we'll, it. we'll definitely go back. And for us, Butlins is like my childhood happy place. We you know? just love going there. Yeah, that'd be good. It's great. Uh, what do you reckon is going in the new area at Oakwood? I don't know. I've not seen anything about it. Has there been any construction going on or not? I don't think Oakwood's actually opened, has it yet, this year? They're opening a bit later after Easter. So. Uh, we'll have to go down there and, and, and check it out, definitely. But uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Uh, Tommy, um, Sean and Sean, on behalf of your extended TBW family, thank you oh, for sharing your energy you. and enthusiasm with us. Your content is superb and your work ethic is exceptional. Keep up the amazing oh, work. Thank you. Thank you so That's much lovely. for your kind words. We really do appreciate it. It's really kind of you. And of course, you know, we're looking forward to everything this year. The fact that, you know, within the next month, we've got three trips to look forward to, two in Europe, one in uh, the US, uh, and then straight into the Asia trip in June. Like literally the next couple of months are going to be really busy. Like you're going to see a lot of, a lot of vlogs coming out over the next couple of months um, leading up towards the summer. And of course, we've got the Asia trip in June. We're already looking past that now. We always try and plan a few months ahead. We're looking at what we're doing in summer. We're looking at what September's trip's going to be this year and moving forwards, depending on, of course, all of our different plans. Alice is watching tonight. A uh, big hello to Ed, who's watching. Hi. Hi out there to Ed. Love the channel. Always await the new uploads. Hope to bump into you again soon and have a great trip. Thank you so much. Really do appreciate it. Uh, I did just see a comment. Any plans for a Planet Coaster series? I get asked every day in comments if there's going to be more Planet Coaster. And it may come at some point in the future. You know, I'm not going to sit here and, and lie and say it's going to be tomorrow. You know, I'll always be honest. We keep it as honest as we can do. I fell out of love with doing Planet Coaster because um, no new DLC was coming out. No new content. I'd used a lot of the items. I built a lot of parks and spent, you know, years doing that series. Um, you know, so I kind of fell out of love with it. But, you know, I'm not saying that I would I would never do it again. It's just at this moment in time, I don't feel like doing any Planet Coaster. But it may change. There might be one day I wake up and think, you know what? I fancy doing something or even a small project again uh, instead of a big full blown out park. Maybe just a small area, small park. I don't know. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. Like, you know, never say never. But at this moment in time, I've not got anything planned, Planet Coaster. In fact, I've not played Planet Coaster for over a year. I've played more Roller Coaster Tycoon, to be honest, yeah, like, than, uh, than that one. Alton Towers, mad watching tonight. Big shout out to you. Uh, tomorrow again, do you get many outtakes and things that go wrong when filming? We'll be fun to see mm. some sort of the behind the scenes. Yeah, well, we should definitely keep more of the outtakes. Sure. I mean, there's not normally that many, um, but uh, yeah, when there is outtakes sometimes, you know, if it's a funny thing, 
it would stay in really because that's yeah, it would, you know yeah. we keep it natural and a lot of the time something funny will happen we wouldn't edit that out because we're not about keeping it professional and you know perfectly slick edited it's just about having a good time you know so a lot of, like if i like trip up or something <laughs> like when i went to last year when i'm on the us trip on that that banister that collapsed oh, yeah. on me um you know when we were there in <laughs> uh, like indiana beach you know, that, that's like, for me, it's a funny moment. It was scary at the time, well, kept, kept but it it's in. a funny moment. I kept it in and uh, it's a good job there was no swearing there, isn't it? I mean, I would have kept it in and beeped it out, you know, family channel as always. But uh, yeah, that was uh, that was a scary moment, that was. But yeah, we do have some outtakes, but uh, we'll definitely, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely keep our, uh, you know, our outtakes and, and do more behind the scenes. You know, I mean, doing more behind the scenes stuff. Thinking of doing like a, a day in the lifestyle video over on the Sembrook Adventures. That'd be really nice. Yeah, maybe we could do one each. And I know you all want to see more of Charlotte uh, <laughs> vlogging, you know. You'll see me going Aldi food shopping. Yeah, literally. That, who asked us the food shop at Aldi? It's so we good. We love Aldi. That is, it's cheap, isn't it? That is good. Yeah, I really do like it. We've got uh, watching from Derby. Steve watching in Derby. Not too far away. Going to Fantasialand in july you got oh. some advice for steve oh in definitely Darby? do not miss out on flying tarot yes they are great rides yeah in terms of advice i mean you know the the, the queues don't really get too bad too operations bad. are pretty good um chapas is amazing too there's some smaller bits like to, not to miss as well you know which are really good um so i definitely recommend it we'll keep the stream going for another few more minutes answering some questions um because of course i know you're all enjoying it so much like i say if you're enjoying tonight's stream make sure you hit the like button the thumbs up it lets us know that you enjoy watching these streams and we'll definitely do more in the future 100 percent um we've got david hi both love the channel thank you for the photo at nemesis oh, opening no from libby dave and rachel it was lovely to see you of course if you ever see us when you're out at the theme parks you can have a picture come and say hello um it's always great to see you we've got the harrogate fam who are watching tonight hi. Uh, hi out there to you love harrogate very fancy place harrogate is it's very nice uh, Amanda, Charlotte, uh, love you. Oh, do you ever drive on the trips? <laughs> so I don't drive on like European trips. I do drive like here. In the UK. I, I'd always get confused driving abroad. <laughs> like it would just confuse me. Like everything like being opposite. Yeah. It would really confuse me. I, I just get used to it. Like I've done it for, for that like, long really now. You're really good at it. Yeah, yeah. I've done it for a long time. Like, and you know, you luckily touch wood. Like, you know, <laughs> I've not had any accidents or anything like that driving, you know, or driving abroad. You know, I've always done quite fine. The scariest thing for me driving abroad was last year on the US trip when literally the car broke down, you oh, know. it was so scary. It, it was because we were like, what's going on? But we what kept calm we and it we got did. resolved and we didn't miss out on any of the parks. Yeah, I wanted the full 25, but uh, when we got that, which is the main thing. Um, what's the smile like, Charlie says? A little bit jolty. It is jolty. A, a, a little bit rough, especially at the moment now. It's uh, it's going through a rough patch again. Like, when it opened 2013, fine. A couple of years on, rough. Then it was fine. And then now this year, not riding the best no, again, is not. it? The Smiler. See how it rides throughout the like later in the year. It depends on the on the wheels, it I think. Does. Uh, Tom's humble abode again. Thanks so much for your support Thank tonight. You. Any plans on doing the Northern California park? Recommend Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. Yes, I'd like to. Uh, you know, I'd like to get to them parks up there. There's a few around that area. Uh, I've never done San Francisco, actually. Done a lot of traveling, but never done San Fran. I know that'd be good because we could do the parks there and also film a lot of content for the San Brook Adventures for you all. So that'd be nice. And maybe if we're doing that, we could um, go to the Walt Disney Family Museum as well, nice. which is in San Francisco. I'd like to do that. And then you've got Hawaii that you can fly to from so there. Many places. Could we go over to Alani and do that? You know, I mean, you'll have done all the Disney parks at that exactly. point. Could we maybe do do Alani? I mean, there's there's so much out there. We've visited a lot. So many. We, we've done a lot of bucket lists, but there's always new stuff to see. You know, and then it's once you've seen them things, it's going back. It's like on this big Asia trip that we're doing in June. You know, there's things out there that uh, you know have been gone in since. I was last day it's been seven years like there's brand new lands brand new rides oh i just can't wait like everything that uh, we're looking forward to um the smile what was that the smiler has a rival called the rattler don't do that one yeah it does seem like one of them is worse than the others doesn't it um before any plans to go to an inflatable theme park i soon? love 
inflatable theme parks like we actually went to like an inflatable park with some of our friends not long ago and we had such a good time but you just get so tired yes <laughs> <laughs> it wears you out so much yeah it, it is time but we need to do a vlog of the sandbrook adventures we can maybe go to a couple of like trampoline parks yeah. So, yeah we used to do them back in the day on theme park worldwide but uh you know maybe we could bring them onto our other channel yeah, do. do some more stuff like that going forward so much fun um but yeah stay tuned like the, you know some really exciting stuff coming up um, Rich Ride 27, my son Jake was one centimetre too short to ride Nemesis oh. Oh, on opening day. Uh, while I was in the four hour queue, he met you both and that made oh. his day. Oh, it was good to see you, Jake. Sorry he didn't get on Nemesis, but a centimetre, that is not much. Hopefully so not too long. It could be a matter of weeks. It like, does. you know, like eat your vegetables, eat your fruits, yeah. eat your Greg sausage rolls, and you might be you might be told if you go on. Um, Amanda, I feel sorry for Charlotte cleaning all their mugs. I clean the mugs. You know? Sean cleans the mugs. <laughs> but to be honest, they don't need cleaning that much because no. of course you know they're in a cabin it doesn't get as dusty as if they were in the house yeah so it's, it's not too bad we'll have another few minutes answering your questions and doing some shout outs and then we'll uh, leave you all to enjoy the rest of your thursday evening thursday, thursday. yeah we keep, keep forgetting what friday. day it is well normally we do the streams on like a friday or saturday yeah. but i thought with it being easter holidays you know let's just let's roll with it tonight why not make the most of it um but yeah, a lot's coming up to be excited for a lot of people saying they'd like to do san fran so that'd be a good one to do are we going to the Hoppins this year? Sophie's asked. Yeah, we didn't go last year to the Hoppins. Great fun. And that also means another tagada for you, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It also means we get to go back to Newcastle. And in Greg's in Newcastle, <laughs> they do like these really good like minced beef pies and you can't get them around here. And <laughs> they are amazing. So I need to go back and get one of them. Local delicacy. They are so Comment good. Comment down below if you uh, know what Charlotte's on about there, these pies. Uh, Chris B. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Got to go. I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. Thanks for, for joining us, Chris. We do appreciate it. Uh, Watson, I don't know why Alton Towers don't just put, put you on a salary to tell them how to sort the park out. <laughs> well, it's one of them. Like, we'll always give friendly Definitely. advice, you know, um, to Alton Towers and constructive criticism. We love the place. I want to see it do well. I want to see it back at the top of its game again. Alton Towers used to be definitely the best park in the UK, and uh, without a doubt. And then also uh, one of the best in Europe, if not the world. You know, it was it was a, a leading park, especially when they were knocking out coast every four years and stuff. Oh, it, they were good times. I want to see them go back to that. You know, I really do. Uh, here's a good one. Josh has asked, what do you guys make of Merlin introducing dynamic pricing? I had a lot of comments about this recently. So this is the fact that prices could change depending on the day of the week and, you know, if there's bad weather forecast one day, they might lower the price. Um, you know, I don't necessarily think, see it as a bad thing. I think it's one of them that we'll have to see how it how it happens, how Definitely. it evolves. Um, if it helps the park and the operations, then I'm all for it. Um, but obviously, you know, it's only like like what Disney do in a way. Mm -hmm. You you spend more to go to Disney on certain days than you do on off-peak days. So I can kind of see where they're coming from. It's not just a Merlin thing. Other places are doing it. But also, they need to make sure they keep it affordable and for everyone Definitely. and fair for everyone too. So I don't think we know enough about it yet. Once we've seen it, I think we'll do a video on it and, and have a good look at it and see kind of how that works Definitely. with the uh, the dynamic pricing. Jake uh, the Snake is watching. Jake the Snake, there we go. I'm a big fan. If you had to remove one ride at Thorpe Park, what would it be? Saw, Saw the, ride. the ride. There we go. Straight away. Saw yeah. the ride. Uh, get it gone. Might be an improvement. Uh, we get rid of Saw the Ride. Who wants to ride Saw? Like, we've got Hyperior opening right next door. Who wants to go on Saw? Saw's just never going to have a queue. You've got these over-the-shoulder restraints, like, that are just tight and horrible. It's not good. You know, the elements that it takes that was... You know, no, why would you do it when you go on Hyperior behind it? Like, you know, you, I'm never going to ride Saw. Like, <laughs> I probably won't go on it again this year when our fear opens. Um, there we go. Thanks so, so much for everyone joining us tonight. Uh, we'll have some, a few more questions. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have another few minutes until we end tonight's stream. Uh, when are you heading to Disneyland Paris? We'll be going at some point this year. Um, I didn't, We didn't go at, re at the moment because we thought we'll wait until, um, you know, the, the summer really for Disneyland yeah, it's Paris. really nice weather for it. I don't think we've done like a, a proper summery day at DLP for a while. So it'd be nice to do that instead of what? being cold. And, like, let's just wait for a little bit. Uh, and of course, you know, we'll be doing that. And as part of the Disney year, we will be going back to Disneyland in California. We got engaged um, out there a couple of years ago. We're getting married this year. So we will be back at Disneyland. Definitely. So stay tuned for that. That's something else to look forward to. We will be back in Cali later in the year. Um, so stay tuned for that. Ben the Brave, Reborn or Inferno? Oh, definitely going to say um, Reborn. Reborn. Inferno is good though. I do like it. Um, Charlie, any tips for riding Nemesis Reborn for the first time? Uh, try and get a back row if you can. It's a back row ride, isn't it? Oh, the back row is so good. Yeah, fantastic. Love 
a back row ride on the beauty. Fant absolutely fantastic. Uh, Amanda, should they have a hybrid coaster at Blackpool? If they were going to do it, I don't really want to see them change one of the woodies. Let's go for a ground up um, hybrid coaster. But I think really they need to look at another steel coaster, mm -hmm. um, in my opinion, a proper a steel family coaster, something like Pegasus Express at Park Asterix, something like that I think would be a really nice fit for the park. Uh, Chris, if you had only one park to go to in the UAE, which one would you go to, Charlotte? I think I'd have to say Motion Gate because I really enjoyed Motion Gate. Like the indoor area at Motion Gate was just so nice. Yeah, I agree. That's really good. I think for me, I'd say Warner Brothers in uh, Abu Dhabi. I think that's my favourite. Um, you look so cute and happy together. Oh, I wish you all the best and uh, your wedding. Oh, thank you so much. Thank really you. <laughs> from your weird sounding brother and sister in Sweden. <laughs> oh, no one's weird. Like, yeah, we love it. It's always lovely love it. speaking to you all. Thanks so much for watching us in Sweden tonight. It's Hello. probably we're moaning about the weather here. I yeah. bet it's even colder in Sweden where you are. I do love it in Scandinavia though. And when you get back back out to Leesburg. I mean, it was really sad what happened with Oceana, yeah, the the water park fire. And uh, honestly, that was really sad. Of course, our thoughts with the park and everyone affected by that. Um, but the plan on rebuilding, which is good. They've got the beautiful hotel that we've still not been out to see. We had the behind the scenes tour when it was under construction, but we haven't stayed there yet. Um, so we'd, we'd like to do that at some point. So yeah, we might try and sneak a trip in out to Liseberg at some point this year as well, um, which would be really exciting. The best ride I've been on is still Steel Vengeance and Coaster Wise at Cedar Point. Back on that next month. Oh, can't wait. Mm -hmm. um, but also my favourite all round ride is Rise of the Resistance at the Disney parks for an overall experience. Stephen, I'd like to know the best ride um, to experience the first inversion. Oh, that's a good one. In terms of first inversion coasters, uh, maybe something like Galactica would be a good call because it's quite slow. Uh, maybe the Swarm at Thought Park, that's more graceful, isn't it, as Mandrel well? Mandrel Mayhem at Chessington. Mandrel Mayhem. There yeah, you go. that'd be a good one. How do I keep forgetting about Mandrel Mayhem? Like, I just forget it's there, you know. Like, it's a great ride as well. I just, I just keep forgetting. Just forget about keep it. Keep forgetting it. You know, it's just there. I mean, we went recently, but I still forget about it. But yeah, it's fantastic. It really is. Uh, watching his story tonight, Ryan and Lee watching from Ilkeston. Hello. Um, book a cost-effective Europe theme park trip. If you don't mind driving abroad, take the car, book your it. park tickets in advance online, book some decent hotels um, for a good price, and you can have a great trip. A Europe theme park trip is one of the most affordable and realistic theme park trips you can do. You can, If you don't mind driving abroad, you can bash like seven, ten, however many parks out you want, back to back, day after day. Still one of the best style trips to do. Going over on the Eurotunnel or the ferry, starting off, hitting up Plops of Land, Eftelin, Fantasia Land, mm. Movie Park, Bobby Ann Land, Wallaby. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it just keeps going. You just keep listing them all. Like, it just keeps going. Like, you add in as little or as most, which Definitely. I normally do, as you want to. I mean, on the Halloween road trip last year, we ended up doing about There's so many 15 or great parks. Definitely. Uh, why do I go so mad about Helix? Because Helix, we love a Helix, 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 Helix. Helix. I just love a Helix on a ride, especially Nemesis, Downward Helix. Most Down intense Helix. part of the ride. Downward Helix, fantastic. Um, well, there you go. Last couple of minutes with you all tonight. And we will love and leave you all. So just a quick recap before we end tonight's stream. What's coming up next on Theme Park Worldwide? Next couple of weeks, lots of UK parks. We're going back to Walton Towers to do the merchandise tour in the yep. next few days. We're going to be doing the food vlog next week. We're going to be eating at Roller Coaster Restaurant and filming that. So that's three more Alton Towers videos. Along with that too, we're uh, then going to be doing some more UK parks and attractions. Of course, we're going to be at Minifigure Speedway in a few days' time for the opening as well. Uh, we'll probably nip back in at Drayton Manor for another update on the coaster. Some other bits back to Blackpool next couple of weeks. Pleasure Beach with some updates there. Uh, it's been a month since we've been actually, which is strange for us. And we normally go more often. Uh, and then of course, we're on to the bigger trips that we've got in Europe coming up, haven't we? Yes, so we are going to be heading out to Europa Park. We are so excited uh, for the opening of Voltron, so I cannot wait for that. We're also going to be going out to Energylandia for Sweet Valley, which we can't wait for that one either. It's been like three years since we last went. Yes, that's going to be good. And then we've got the US trip coming up to Cedar Point and various other parks. A um, bit of a 10-day, 11-day trip really we're going to be nice. doing uh, to a few parks around the New York, New Jersey area, and then also Cedar Point in Ohio as well. So yeah, it's going to be an awesome uh, little trip we've got planned there for you all. Um, last few shout-outs then tonight. Tom, will you go to Park Bay 
Bagatelle. It's near Calais. Went there a few years ago to Bagatelle. Um, and I'd like to go back at some point. Again, it's one that Charlotte hasn't yeah, done. Yeah, so I'd like to go and see it. Yeah, Bagatelle. Yeah, it'd be a nice one to do. Just making sure that we've uh, got all of the uh, shout-outs in tonight. But uh, there we go. Thank you so much for joining us Thank you, on this wonderful Thursday evening. I mean, we've had so many questions and shout-outs. We need to do these more often. I'm sure I always end the live stream <laughs> like this, but we really need to do more of them. There's still so many of you watching there, as there, well. There is. Like, you could probably just watch it all night, but uh, there's still like 1,700 of you watching tonight. But uh, we will do it more. Maybe we should set... I mean, I don't want to set like a date that we do it every month or something, because uh, I still want to keep them really unique, really special not doing them all the time um but we will start doing more maybe we'll experiment doing them more in the parks again mm. as well um some more live streams it's a big thing now isn't it live streams you know um thanks so much uh arca arca for your support there tonight uh, of course anyone that sent a super chat tonight thank, thank you, you so so much we really do appreciate your support and like i say it all kind of helps bring you more content things like travel expenses camera equipment um you know all that stuff that you know you don't often think about you click on the youtube video behind the scenes a lot goes on a lot of time editing a lot of petrol getting to the past <laughs> a lot of fuel um, it all helps honestly thank you so really so much it, so um, thank you. It, it means the world to us that you all enjoy the channel so much and of course anyone that's commented tonight and interacted with the stream thank you for being with us yes thanks for joining us for that one and of course along with that as well anyone that has uh, sent in shout outs questions tonight thank um, um, I know we've you know barely answered a lot of questions compared to so how many. many. Yeah, and of course putting in all the all the questions. We got someone watching in Kenya tonight. Like yeah. when I started this channel back in 2012, I never thought I'd be sat in my living room reaching out to people around the world, people watching in Texas, in Kenya, Sweden, around the UK. Honestly, thank you so so much for all your support. We really do appreciate it. We've got lots coming up and uh, a lot of UK stuff that we're going to be doing that we've not done for a few years as well. As we move into summer, uh, I'm in a big focus on doing some more seaside places really and a few nice. bits that we've not covered for a few years, you know, um, which is going to be really exciting too. But uh, thank you so much, thank everyone. You, everyone. We're going to love you and leave you all there. Um, of course, if you haven't already, give the video a big like, big thumbs up. We really do appreciate your support. Subscribe to the channel for all the latest news and updates. We upload new video uh, most days. Uh, but of course, there's been a couple of days where I've not uploaded over the past few weeks, just letting you kind of catch up because we've uploaded so much. But we're going to be back on the daily uploads now with so much coming up. Vlogs, news updates, POVs, the additional live stream that we'll definitely put in here and there. Uh, and of course, yeah, lots to look forward to. Mini Phoenix Speedway in a few days, Hyperion next month, Voltron next month, Yay! Top Thrill 2 next month, Sweet Valley next month. Um, yeah, May shaping up to be a big one. This month. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna, yeah. I know, it's going to be mad, isn't it? Like, we got loads. Yeah, this month and then, this month then, and then the, the next, next month. month. Yeah, so I thought it was still in, in uh, March. Um, yeah, we got, because we've just got into April. Yeah, as in like this next month. Yeah. yeah, from now, like, it's going to be amazing. Like, by, by the 4th of May, it's yeah, there's going to be so much that we've done and so much more to, to look forward to as well. But uh, there we go. Have Thank a wonderful you, evening. Everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. It's always horrible turning these live streams off because there's so many of you still watching tonight. But thank you so much for all your continued support. We love you all. Thanks for watching Theme Park Worldwide and the Sandbrook Adventures. Uh, and of course, thank you to Charlotte, as always, for everything you do behind the scenes as well. Oh, thank you for everything that you do. Oh, <laughs> we have a great time. We, we love it. <laughs> right, we're going to cut you all off. There we go. We'll see you later. Everyone. Thanks so much. I hate doing this. I, I hate just pressing the button, but I could, could talk for hours. I could talk all night. But uh, honestly, thank you so, so much. We love you all. We'll see you see soon. Later. And of course, that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get out, out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. Bye. Bye. Oh.